Hi there. Um, I've been looking for a good reference photo for quite a while now. Uh, I didn't find anything that I really liked, so I took this one, which is pretty good, and I hope I can make it a bit more interesting. We'll see as the painting progresses. As I'm speaking, I have not completed it at all. I'm at the stage where I blocked in everything and started adding colors and details. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'm gonna show you anyways, even though it could be a bad result. So first of all, what I'm doing now is uh, uh, blocking in all the, uh, the the whole canvas with the uh, acrylics uh, that's just to cover the canvas in paint and also trying to get the colors I want so on the left side there I added more blue to give it a more contrast to the yellow white uh, sunlight coming through and on the right, my initial idea is to add more red colors. But as always, when you th see uh, things progress, you might see that some colors doesn't work well together, so that will be altered later. I'm also trying to see what stuff doesn't really have a great fit for the painting such as you see that lower branch that looks uh, too angular it looks like a uh, rectangle <clears throat> I'm gonna remove that later it, it just looks um, made up even though it's real doesn't fit the angle but I'm gonna use the the tree in the uh, in the in the background uh, going out across the middle that has a great uh, flow to it and I'm also gonna change a lot of rocks you see on the right side there I added more rocks than the reference picture has Initially, I add more rocks to it, but later I'm gonna use that the dark black gap between the rocks to make the, compos the composition more interesting. And on the left with, with the big, big tree there, I'm gonna add more rocks than I currently have. So now we started painting with oils and I'm still kind of blocking stuff in. I'm using uh, quite a bit of linseed oil to, uh, keep, to keep the paint from drying so I can block the whole canvas in and then start to sh make shapes. So the uh, the painting thus far has taken about I'd say eight hours in uh, four different settings, and probably gonna take uh, twice that uh, when adding details. So I I I, I tend to find the painting only interesting 
when I finish the blocking in and started adding details so uh, I'm rushing the rushing the blocking stage to get to the fun parts and that will take much longer time I I, I, I can paint a rock for for hours I find the uh, the angles and shapes so interesting and adding colors and when you actually find the the correct contrast between one side of the rock and the other side you just it blows your mind because you have such a good feeling that oh wow I found the correct contrast and I love that so and as you can see now I started add, adding details and uh, this small clip where I paint the stream here it's actually in 500% faster than normal but I wanted to show you uh, how loose and I, uh, yeah how, how loose I paint just so you can get a feel of it but I I found it so boring to look at I had to speed it up I want you to only see the interesting parts and it's uh, kind of hard so I, I have to uh, all the rest of the clips here are at 2000 percent higher speed so the tree on the left side is uh, should be very very dark to give a good contrast but it has to have a lot of colors because it's uh, too close to you to the eye of the beholder so I'm gonna add lots of different colors to it make it more interesting and make it pop because that's one of the primary focuses of this painting it's always 101 in painting that you should put much more details to the foreground than the background first because uh, you of course can see if you if you were standing uh, at the spot and looking and have that view you would see much more details but also make the foreground more interesting that would also push the background back more and with the depth you find the painting more interesting and working on the stream I uh, I started adding the blue blue colors to uh, make it different from the grayish stones but the color was way too bright and also it didn't work well with other tones in, in the painting so later on I'm gonna dull it down and make the water in the front more greenish yellowish grayish so uh, it's gonna be more muddy and more cl and closer to the colors of the rocks And this painting took me about 16 hours to make. And as always, I'm gonna let this painting sit and kind of bake for a while. And when I walk past it on my way to the office or, or something like that, I will see it. And the more I see it, I will see the things I don't like, the things I wanna add. So in uh, a month or or so I'm gonna pick it up again and add more details. So that's it. Uh, hope you enjoy watching this painting being made and feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Did you like it or not? Um, or what, whatever subject would you like to see me paint the next time? And please like and subscribe and I see you guys next time. Bye.